Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to not just create a new project, because I've already kind of shown that in a previous episode, but I kind of want to show the nature of what you're dealing with when you are creating project files and kind of how that works. Uh, within Premiere Pro, one thing you got to remember that with, with most editors, not all of them, but with most editors, you will have a project file that is independent of your media. Your media it will be things like video, audio, JPEGs, PNGs, just almost any sort of media that you can import into Premiere Pro those items do not get saved within your project file. What your project file is is simply a, a, a file that's just telling the media in a separate folder how to act and what to do and how to edit, basically, how it needs to be edited. As opposed to something like PowerPoint, if you're using like Microsoft PowerPoint and you're adding photos, adding videos, you'll notice the size of your file goes way up on your project file because uh, all that media is contained within your project file in PowerPoint. It's very different in, in editing software. Uh, so f first of all, I'm going to go up to go new project here. I'm going to hit browse. We're going to hit a location that we want to save our project file. Be very consci uh, conscientious of where you are saving your project files because on def by default it wants to save it in my do in this long line of uh, Premiere Pro items here and I don't want to do that. I want to save it on a location where I want to save it myself. So I'm going to hit, uh, I've got an external hard drive here called Stuff, really creative uh, name there. And I'm going to I'm going to move around here. I'm going to find one here. I want to save it right in this Osiris Climb project right there. I'm going to open up this folder here. I'm going to select folder. I'm just going to name this for right now. I'm just going to name this test edit. Uh, that's my that's going to be my project file. So it's that location. Hit OK. And it shows the locations. It's on the drive that's assigned as the H drive on my PC, Osiris Climb folder. And then that's my project name. So you see the location up here at the top uh, with my project file. Let's go to assembly here. I'm going to import some media. I've got a special episode that we're going to be doing on just importing. I just want to show you the nature of project files in this episode. Though. I'm going to go to media browser and we're going to browse to my H location, arrow down, move down, arrow to the right to expand my folder. I, like I said, I'm going to go o over importing footage later on, but right now I'm just going to show you uh, once you do get media imported, what happens to your project file. Okay, here's some footage that I want to import. I'm going to do control A to select all my media and right click and import. And we're going to import this media into this project. And here's my video footage that's been imported into my project here. So if we do something, let's, I'm going to grab a bunch of media, drag it into a timeline here and create a timeline that has a whole bunch of that. Drag it into a timeline that has all my video clips here. So as we arrow through this, we can see the different video files that are in my timeline. And now I'm going to hit Control S. Whenever you hit Control S, it's going to update this file. Let's kind of show you how that works first of all. I'm going to go to that location, go to my AH drive, go to my folder that I saved it in. And right here is my test edit. It shows the date that it was saved. And over here, it's got the size of the file as well. Notice this. Uh, this is saved at 8.07 PM. And right now it is 8.10 PM. So it's been a few minutes since I created this project file. If I go back to Premiere and I hit Control S, that has been updated. So now it has recorded this with my media imported. If I go back to uh, my folder here, you notice Notice uh, my project file now updated to 8.10 p.m. That's the last time that it was saved. So now my current progress has been saved on that project file. If I import, let's import a specific clip here. Let me go to my media browser and import one more file. Import this first clip here. This file that I just imported here, this video with an audio uh, track uh, attached to it, but this one I just imported. And now I'm not gonna save my project. I'm not gonna do, do that updated. But remember this file right here, if I close this and don't save my project, when I open that back up, it's not going to have that file there because I did not save the progress. So let's open this project back up and you can simply open it up by double clicking on it and it will open up Premiere for you and my project has opened back up. So keep in mind that uh, even if I don't have Premiere Pro, uh, Premiere Pro open, I can go to my project file and double click on it and it will automatically detect that this is a Premiere Pro project. It will open up the project and here it is restored. But notice that that video file without with the audio attached to it is no longer in here because I did not save my prog progress. So I'm gonna go into Media Browser, import that file again, and now that file is in there. If I hit Control S, you see it save. It has sa up updated my save there. Now notice it's 813 and I go back to my folder, notice it is it was saved at 813. So it's got all my saves, all, all my changes saved in there, which is really important. Other thing I want to point out is once again, this media acts independent, this media is uh, independent of the project file. This project file here, in fact, if you look at the size, is 178 kilobits, which is kilobytes, which is really, really small. That's a very small file. But this is basically just what they would call an edit decision, less telling your footage 
what to do, telling the project file what to do to organize this footage, to organize and edit this footage. It saves the progress of all those things, choices that you've made. And where my media is, if you want to find out where the media is, you can right click on a clip on any media in here and go to Reveal in Explorer. Or if you're on a Mac, it'll be Reveal in Finder. Once you click on that, it will open it up. And this is the location right here where that media is found. This organization that we did here in this uh, in this folder has all the footage in these in these folders. And this is in a separate location. Once again, this project file does not contain the media. It just tells the media how to act. So keep that in mind. If you need to move this to a different hard drive, some people think that if you just give them the project file, they're going to have access to the complete project. And that's not true. Uh, they have to have the media along with the file as well to get the whole project to work. So what I recommend doing is if you're going to share this project with somebody, you're going to share the entire folder. If we right click on the folder and go to properties, notice this is 181 gigabytes. So it's a, that's because of all the media. And within that, within that folder, this project file is relatively very small compared to how much footage. Here's one of the footage folders here, card one, which is 92 gigabytes. And then the next one is 28 gigabytes. So this, once again, just to reiterate, this project files tells this media how to act. It does not add the media to the file. Therefore, it would increase the file of your project file. It just tells those that those clips how to act. So thanks for watching. And in, the up and in an upcoming episode, I will be showing how to actually import footage. And we'll also be showing how to reconnect media that's been disconnected uh, from your project file in episodes to come. Thanks for watching.